everybody. My name is Taryn, and I'm a filmmaker. And this is the script for pop art and noir. So basically the plot of this film is there are two convicts, and they're running from two completely different things. But their stories get intertwined because they both share one small thing, that they both look completely identical. This film is shot on a shoestring budget. We don't have any money whatsoever. But despite the budgetary constraints, we do have our very own composer, Kai Kubota Enright. He's doing the entire soundtrack of 35 individual songs. So far we have filmed probably five days worth of footage. We can only film once a week, unfortunately, but when you're in school, that's, that's a problem. B but the very long days, they're five to ten hour work days of filming. We are hoping to send it to the Vancouver Film Festival once it's completed. Um, of course, we don't know if it's good enough that they'll accept it. We don't know if they will like it, hate it. We don't know what's going to happen. So that's our goal. But if it doesn't happen, you know, so be it. I've always wanted to be a filmmaker ever since I was very, very young. And I'm hoping that this will be the thing that could spark my career. A lot of the film is about perspective and how many people, in fact, everyone you meet pretty much has a different perspective than you do. We're filming using three cameras. Uh, this one right here, which is from my school, it's a very good quality. It's a Canon EO, um, EO, E, uh, E, Dens T3. It's a Canon, and uh, then there's the other camera, which is my personal camera. It's not the greatest quality of camera, but it looks like film. It doesn't look like a digital. I don't know why, because it's a digital camera, but when you film on it, it looks like 70 millimeter film. The third camera is my friend Bowen's camera. His camera is extremely good quality. Um, most of the film is shot on his camera. It has such a large viewfinder that you don't even have to look at the camera to know that you have it, everything in shot. There are other characters in the film too. You could say the main character is Cherry Pop. She is portrayed by Georgia Smith. She is a hater girl, like a hitman, but of the feminine species. And she's hired by a crime boss to kill Austin Lennon, who slept with the mob boss's wife. Then there's Hobbs Fjarmid. He's a police officer of a corrupt police force, and he's trying to take down Xavier Wallace, one of the men who happen to look identical. Cherry Pop's best friend is Lucy. She is a... <laughs> It's never directly stated that she's a prostitute, but it's strongly implied that she is a prostitute. And she is Cherry's best friend. I'm hoping to make videos called Pop Art Vlogs about once every two months that would show how the film is coming along and hopefully build a following of the film before it premieres so that it could have some kind of audience. So if you're a interested in seeing the progress of this student film become reality, then please enjoy the ride with me.